Hello all, how are you doing? I am here with a Bath & Body Works haul. As you guys know, the candles are on sale, two for 24, kind of a rip off, and nobody's happy about the price increase, but I did use the 20% coupon. So the candles came out to like 960 something after tax, and you know, they're like 860 after tax. It's, you know, $2 difference. And I really wanted the new candles from the new Happy Home Collection, but I know they're not really supposed to be released till like Monday, I was assuming. But I thought I would go to the store and at least, you know, hope and pray that maybe they had the collection out um, during this, you know, $12 candle sale. And so I went and I also had some gift cards and guess what? They had all of them out. So I was actually able to get all of them as well as the Love and Sunshine Collection. Um, just that candle, I didn't buy the whole collection. Collection. And I actually found another interesting one. So this is primarily a candle haul. I only got one item that was not a candle and it is right here. Um, I got the Island White Pineapple Nourishing Hand Cream with Shea Butter and Vitamin E. Um, I absolutely love their hand creams. Love them, love them, love them. Keep them in my purse, keep them on my desk, keep them by my bedside. Love them. Um, I have heard from numerous people that the pineapple hand cream is the best one they've like ever came out with. And so of course I had to try it for myself and see what all the hype was about. So I did pick up the Island White Pineapple Hand Cream with the 20% off coupon that came out to $4 instead of five. But that's the only thing I got that was not a candle. Okay, so let me start off with the first three candles that I got. These ones are probably the least exciting out of the ones I have to show you. I did get three. My dog's like jingling all over the place with her little tag. Anyway, I did get three of the colored glass collection. Um, I really thought these were pretty. I don't necessarily love the colored glass ones because I don't like the fact that they don't have a lid, but I liked these scents. And so I got these three. Um, because I liked them. I don't think I'm going to get the apple flower one. That's the one that everybody is, you know, having all the hype about that the apple flower candle is amazing. But I heard on Tina D. Delicious's channel that it's a direct repackage of something, maybe with Sabi apple. I don't remember what it was, but it, I, I probably won't buy it. Anyway, so I got Honeysuckle Bouquet. Um, I've never bought this one before. I know it's been released before, but I just really, honestly, what got me on this one was how beautiful it is. It's like a really pretty kind of tangerine orange color. It's almost yellow. It's super pretty. And the insert is gorgeous as well. It's got some really pretty honeysuckles there. And this is a floral. I think as much as I used to not like floral candles, I think I'm starting to like get an acquired taste for them in a way. Um, so it says the scent of early spring contained in a bouquet of sweet honeysuckle and pink peony with a touch of creamy vanilla. I don't smell vanilla at all. This is just like a strictly floral candle, but I thought it was beautiful. So I picked that one up. All right, next I picked up Lilac Blossom. Um, like, I just, I don't know. I like got all these floral candles today. I think it's just like the packaging is so pretty. I don't know. I really wish they had a lid. Anyway, this one is Lilac Blossom. I have heard that this is a repackage of the, uh, the French Lavender, maybe? I'm not sure. I don't remember what it was, but Lilac Blossom. If I have to pick a flower that I like the smell of, lilacs are my favorite. Um, this one says, it's got a weird sticker on the bottom. Ew. This one says, freshly cut lilac blossoms with a hint of lily of the valley and delicate violet create the ultimate spring fragrance. This smells just exactly like a lilac bush. Um, just exactly like one. This one is really authentic. So I don't know. I'm telling you, I think it's really weird. I think, I think something weird is happening with me where I'm starting to like floral candles more. Maybe I'm just so like desperate for the spring. I'm like, maybe if I burn all these floral candles, it will make the flowers bloom. I don't know. Okay, the third one I picked up from the colored glass and probably the only other one I will get, at least as far as this season's releases, is the fresh water and sea salt. Um, the name intrigued me. I thought it was an interesting name and it is like the prettiest blue color ever. So fresh water and sea salt. Um, the package has like a little uh, water, like a vase with water and a little flower in it. And um, it says, refresh a room with a clean, with the clean fragrance of crisp water notes, sea salt crystals, and a bright hint of citrus. Um, this doesn't smell like sea salt or salty at all, but it smells like, like really fresh, clean water. So the fresh water, I get that. Um, this one is a nice clean scent. Like if you like the clean cottony type scents, clean linen type scents, um, 
really nice candle. Really nice. I really like the scent. Wish it had a lid, but eh, what can you do? Okay, the next one is really interesting. I have heard that this was supposed to be a White Barn exclusive. So I got the candle Papaya Sunrise. And like I said, I've heard that this candle was supposed to be a White Barn exclusive, but I just straight up bought it at a Bath and Body Works. And then I went to another one and it was there as well. Um, so that's kind of strange. But anyway, this one reminds me a lot of the um, mango pineapple one or the pineapple mango one. It reminds me a lot of that. Um, it says, wake up to another day in paradise with a tropical blend of papaya, coconut wood, and a hint of sugar cane. It's nice. Um, I really just got this because it's a nice fruity candle. I love those type of candles. I can't get enough of them in the summer. And I thought this was supposed to be a white barn exclusive. So if it was supposed to be a white barn exclusive and I found it in a Bath and Body Works, does that mean all of the white barn exclusives will be found at Bath and Body Works? Is it just this particular one candle or is it not supposed to be a white barn exclusive or are they doing away with the white barn exclusives? I don't know. I just thought it was strange. So let me know if you guys have any more information about that. So I got Papaya Sunrise. This goes with the um, Tiki Beach collection. Obviously that is in stores now. It's pretty delicious. All right, next up, I got the Love and Sunshine Collection. This is the one that's all over the invitation to return coupons. It's all over the place. It's on the first look. It's on the website. It's everywhere. They are hyping this one up, just like they hyped up the Wild Madagascar Vanilla. Um, so they're releasing all the body care on Monday, and the candle's being released then as well, but they had it out, so whatever. I was like, yeah. Um, so this is Love and Sunshine. And the packaging just looks like the packaging that is on the body care. It's got some little daisies there and the sun. And it looks like it has le lemons in the tree. Yes, it has lemons in the tree. Um, this one has a lid, basic Bath and Body Works lid. I don't care. I'm so happy it has one. And this, I don't know. I, you know, they hyped up the Wild Madagascar vanilla one. I bought just one of them, but I love it. Like I wish I would have bought more than one. The thing that's really strange about when they release the body care candles, it's like they appear, they only have like 10 of them and when they're gone, they're gone and like they don't restock them. And so you basically have to get them online. So I've kind of decided that when they have these body care releases that they like majorly hype up to just get them when they are released. Because if you wait a week, like they're gone. At least that's the case in my store. Um, so this says fill a room with the juiciest fruits, the brightest blooms and sunny, cheerful citrus you definitely get a fruity citrus smell. It really does smell happy. It smells like just happiness. I don't know. <laughs> I really do like this. I think the body care is going to be pretty good too. I don't know if I'll buy the body care because I'm really stocked up on that, but I really like it. I, I hope it's strong. Um, traditionally, when Bath & Body Works releases the body care fragrances as home fragrance, traditionally they're pretty good. They're usually pretty strong um, based on all the reviews and stuff I've seen and read. Basically, they usually throw really well and it's usually like really strong when they do these body care home fragrance releases. So I'm hoping that this one, you know, kind of lives up to that promise. All right, so those are the only candles that I got that are not in the new Happy Home collection. Um, I was able to get all of those candles from that collection so I think I'll probably just do a separate video on that because I want to like really show you them and tell you my first thoughts kind of like I did with the Brazil collection so I think I'm actually going to do that in a separate video just because you know I'm almost out of time already um, so I will link that down below if you want to see all seven candles from the new happy home collection make sure you click down there and watch it um, I just got you know wrong side I just got, you know, three from the colored glass. I did get the Love and Sunshine one, and I was able to get the Papaya Sunrise, which I thought was interesting. So let me know if you guys have any information about that one, because that was a weird one for me. What do you guys think of this Love and Sunshine hype? Is it worth the hype or not? Um, so yeah, click the video down below if you want to see the new Happy Home collection, and I will record that now. So I will see you in that one. Bye.